My name is Eric Wood, the product line manager for the UMC product. I've been at Haas Automation for 20 years. I began as a design engineer on the lathe group. I took a team and redesigned the TL1 and 2 and brought it into the new generation and then moved into the R&D engineering manager where I was responsible for front panel, remote jog handle, other tooling accessories such as the tool racks. One thing that's actually pretty enjoyable to do is take a product is already successful but you can see some improvements that are necessary and then launch a whole new product that's very similar but much better in the end. The UMC 750 was very successful but many of our customers are getting larger and larger jobs and they are requesting a larger work envelope. They have larger parts, more awkward, and they need a bigger work envelope to manipulate that part. So the UMC 1000 fundamentally is the same machine. The spindle still moves in the XYZ axes, and then the BC rotary is down below. We chose to adopt the coolant tank from the BMC line because it makes maintenance much more hassle-free. The 30 pocket and the 50 pocket tool changers were created right around the same time that the UMC was coming about. So we of course adopted the new technology. So now the new options, it's a 30 pocket standard with an optional 50 pocket. And one of the things we also did with the tool changer side was make an opening window to access and look at your tools better from the outside without stopping the machine. To redesign the enclosure, we wanted to center the doorway more in line with the platter. We also brought over the sidewall for better chip containment. Uh, we brought the control panel around to the front, making it much more ergonomic for the operator. You got your tool racks here and your tool change vise, air hose, all the standard accessories you see on the BMCs. We were able to increase the speeds of the super speed, so you'll get that much more performance when running a really involved CAM program. The original concept of this machine was, we make a UMC 750, we need a bigger one. We need more travels. Oh, by the way, it's got a ship in a shipping container so that we don't have to pay the exorbitant fees for flat racking when shipping across seas. I want the customers to say, I'm profitable. I think I want to hear that this machine makes them money. I want to hear that it's reliable and performs to their expectations.